Hi, Alan Stratton from Eswood Turns. I'm getting my family together, all my children, all my grandchildren, for a family reunion. When we're together, we like to play games, especially the young children. One of those games is a cat and mouse game. Now, this is a very active game. Each player has a mouse. I used to use corks on strings, but these are turned from pen blanks with a skew for more skew practice. Each player has a set of tokens. M&Ms work well, and they lose one when their mouse is captured, but they also lose one to other causes. The cat has a cup or a bowl. It used to use a cup, but now it's a wood-turned bowl out of apricot. The cat also has a die. Now, Grandma here is looking on. So the way the game is played is that the cat has the bowl and rolls the die. When it comes up, given number, usually six, the cat pounces. But when, they, when the mice see the six, they also scamper away. And then each mouse is captured has to give up one of their tokens to the cat. That's a fun game. So let's get turning and make one. But I've got a lot to do because I have 10 grandchildren to turn for. I'm using pen blanks from a woodcraft assortment. They're not labeled by species, so who knows exactly what kind of wood they are. I'm using my long jaws and have put the blank directly in the chuck. I'll use my smaller skew for these mice. With this small stock, a peeling cut will do nicely no need to dig out a huge spindle roughing gouge for the small stock. Then shape a bit of the nose, then his backside. Then just a little bit of sanding up through 320 grit. No need for finer grit since these will be roughed up by my grandchildren. Now for a little shellac friction polish and rub in for a little shine. and part it off. I had to be sure to catch it, else it would get lost in the shavings. Since I have enough wood projecting from the chuck, I'll move on to another mouse. Try that on for 11 mice plus one dud. Fortunately, they did not have to be identical. I wanted them to have some differences in size, wood, and facial features. It will be interesting to see which ones the children choose first. Now for mousy personality. I used plastic glazing for the tails, but next time I would use something else that does not retain bends. For features, I'm trying a technique I recently learned from Graham Priddle. For mouse eyes and noses, I'm mixing black acrylic with an acrylic gel media. I'm using a rubber cone-shaped brush. I'm hoping to get eyes and noses that have texture. I have no idea of proportions, but I suspect that it does not matter much. I'll add black acrylic paint until the gel has the color that I want. Black. Then I'm dotting the mix for eyes and noses. It does not go well. I'm not getting the texture I want. I've added a few drops of water to thin down the mix. That helps a little. I wiped off the texture from several mice and started over. Obviously, I need more work to master this technique. For the cup, I found a piece of apricot limb wood about the right size. This wood has been cut for two years and has been inside my shop for most of that time. It should be nearly dry. I drilled the almost flat side for a screw chuck, then I mounted the wood to the screw chuck with the lathe on but dead slow. 
Now for rough shaping with my large bowl gouge. Usually I'd be turning this green and get a long wet shavings. With this being dry, I'm getting a lot of smaller shavings. Still, the process is the same. I'm starting near the center and working out. It's a lot easier that way. I'm also cutting a mounting tenon on the bottom to reverse mount the bowl to hollow the interior. Then I'll flip the bowl and start hollowing the interior. This is a small bowl, so it's going quickly, even though the wood is nearly dry and the apricot is hard. I'm using a bowl gouge, but I'll finish up with a bowl scraper. There's a tight radius. For this, I'll switch to a round nose scraper. To finish the small bowl, I wrapped the lip with masking tape and held it in my large metal jaws to finish the bottom. The mites are ready to play, and the cat is ready to pounce. Now to get the children together to play. We'll see how my mice hold up to real play. And each child can take a mouse home with them. It should be a fun time together. Please click the like button on this video and subscribe to both my website and YouTube channel. Always wear your face shield. Don't let a hunk of wood prove you're not invincible. Until next time, this is Alan Stratton from As Wood Turns.